Hi, my name's Peter Coffin, and after months of talking about how the H-Bomber guy plagiarism video is an ethical argument for intellectual property law, tons of people telling me, no, 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 he's just talking about individuals' bad behavior. There's not some kind of ideology being shown here, no. I present to you what ideology does. Essence of Thought, who I believe I've had run-ins with before, released a video about um, some YouTuber that I don't know who is plagiarizing her Lily Orchard series. It is an hour and eight minutes of gold jacket, green jacket, who gives a shit? But it's not just that Essence of Thought has a stupid problem. In fact, it goes a lot further. In fact, we get to see how the ideology I critique in Plato is a bitch, AI and bomber guy is in fact exactly what I said it was in that she becomes a leftist landlord and engages in rent-seeking behavior. We'll get to that in a second. First, I want to show you how she claims uh, some screenshots are hers. Scal presents eight screenshots, eight pieces of visual evidence, which she then spends the remaining time talking about. And it's those eight screenshots that allow me to confirm, without a shadow of a doubt, that they were ripped directly from my video. Not all the images I took were taken at the same level as Zoom, and when you zoom in and out on a page on Tumblr or Twitter, it doesn't merely pan in like a camera lens, every now and then it shifts things around. Take this example I grabbed whilst writing the script, taken from Stockholm Uberfan, The Last Alicorn. Here is the page at 100%, here is that same page at 175%, and here it is again at 200%. Notice how the layout of the page keeps changing. Therefore, if the layout of these eight screenshots matches those seen in mine, that is conducive to the images having been ripped directly from our video, since if any of them didn't match, that'd throw the whole thing off. So just to be clear, Essence of Thought is mad that somebody stole screenshots of someone else's material, which she used in her video in another video. I'm sorry, but those screenshots are like if you took a book to the copy machine at a library, made yourself a copy of a page, hung it up somewhere, and got mad somebody took it down, made another photocopy, put yours back where it was because this is a non-destructive process, and then hung their copy up somewhere else. Like, if we're gonna actually get mad about using other people's content, you're taking screenshots of other people's content. Now, I don't give a shit about any of this. This is stupid. It's hilarious that she actually thinks that these screenshots are hers by her own standards, though. But that's the uh, types of data points that are used for showing how there's plagiarism happening. What matters is that this ideology does what I told you this ideology would do. So here's that. I just wanted to give people a chance to own up to it, to pay the compensation I felt I was owed for the damages at this point, before moving on. So here's what I wrote. Quote, Hi, I'm reaching out to you because I've learned that your channel has plagiarized several of my videos. Your channel's video, Lily Orchard, YouTube's biggest creep, Lily Pete, contains several screenshots which are identical to the ones from my videos, the presenter copies several of my phrases almost word for word, and the presenter references the source of our victim testimony, who has not shared their story anywhere else. Plagiarism is not only morally wrong, but also a violation of copyright law, so I expect this to be corrected. We feel we are entitled to 30% of the video's monetary value as compensation. That includes AdSense, Patreon earnings for the month of February, and sponsorship earnings from HelloFresh. You see how smug I look right now? <laughs> the look on my face is the look of somebody who's been saying something for several months, had people saying, no, of course it's not that, and then being right. This is the logical conclusion of plagiarism as an ethical concern. It is bourgeois property dynamics. It is rent-seeking behavior. It is leftist landlordism. That's what this is. I pointed this out from the very first video that I made on this topic. I got tons of pushback. 
oh no, that's not what it is. This is just talking about the actions of an individual and how they're morally wrong. I just want to thank Essence of Thought for making such a wonderful commercial for Plato is a bitch AI and bomber guy. Oh my god, if you have not watched Plato is a bitch AI and bomber guy, you should. Because wow, oh wow, wow, wow. I was right as hell. And just in case you think, oh, well, Essence of Thought didn't necessarily do this because of H Bomber Guy. This isn't necessarily downstream of H Bomber Guy's video or a result of the reinforcement of ideology that he was giving. No, no, no. Well, um, this. Because it is downright shocking to see the similarities between Scowl's actions here and Illuminati, aka Blair, as called out in H Bomber Guy's plagiarism video last year. But here's where it gets interesting. Blair knows people might notice this, so she's come up with a defense mechanism. Guys, folks, friends, y'all, whatever the fuck you want to say, watch Plato is a bitch AI and Bomber Guy. These bread tube people have shifted from capitalism is wrong to capitalism is wrong and also I'm doing it. <laughs> this is small scale intellectual enclosure. It's the same type of shit that the British crown did when it stole the commons and made it into private property. These are screenshots. You went to someone else's content, captured it, and are now claiming it as your own content. On top of that, you're acting like you're like morally superior to other people because you did it. And also, oh, you labeled stuff. Like this shit is so fucking ridiculous and stupid. It's time for people to stop acting like I'm some kind of contrarian. I say shit that I mean. It's consistent with the material analysis of the thing. And if you don't like it, that's fine. You can assert that I'm wrong. And I may very well be wrong, but I'm not here. I fucking told you that's what this was. And that's what this is. You cannot argue that that's what this is. The plagiarism concern is simply the ethical justification for bourgeois property dynamics, period. IP law is the legal justification, and this is the ethical justification. The ethical justification also serves as a justification for the legal justification as well. It's a web of justifications, I ideology, almost like there's some kind of a critique of that one can have. It's almost like regardless of intent, material interests somehow express themselves. Weird. This bitch doesn't have enough money for the month. Let's drum up a plagiarism controversy. Money me. Money me. Money now. Me a money needing a lot now. This is an open and shut example of how I was completely correct about this in my documentary, Plato is a bitch, AI and bomber guy. And I really want you to go ahead, carve out an hour and 50 minutes and watch it. It's entertaining. It's correct. And if that makes you mad, then I think it's really funny when you leave comments about it. Uh, lick this video, lick the documentary. Slurp all over them buttons, become a subscriber, maybe become a Patreon, money me too, okay? Money me. Me a money needing a lot now. I want you to money me on a voluntary basis though. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Bye.